We're going to turn now uh, to more on President Trump's Senate impeachment trial. He's got a new defense lawyer, but the question this morning, when will this trial actually start? Congressional correspondent Rachel Scott is there on Capitol Hill. Rachel, top Republicans want this pushed until next month now. Yeah, Cecilia, good morning. This request coming from Republican leader Mitch McConnell asking for the start of that impeachment trial to now be pushed back until mid-February. This is all about giving former President Donald Trump more time to prepare to make his case. This morning, as former President Donald Trump starts to get his defense team in order, Republicans are pushing to delay the impeachment trial for at least two weeks, saying Trump needs more time to prepare. Republican leader Mitch McConnell sending this proposal to Democrats, insisting the Senate cannot short-circuit the due process for Trump. But just hours earlier, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi signaled she was ready to hand over that article of impeachment to the Senate. They've now informed us they're ready to receive the question is, are there questions about how a trial will proceed? Uh, but we are, we are ready. With Democrats now in control, it will be up to Majority so Leader Chuck work Schumer work to lay out the timeline for a trial. Trump left Washington before Biden even took the oath of office, spending his first full day out of the White House on the golf course. He's had a hard time finding a legal team to defend him, but now he's named his first lawyer, South Carolina Attorney Butch Bowers, to represent him. And that proposal from McConnell is now in Schumer's hands. His office tells us they are reviewing it, Cecilia. Yeah, and Rachel, there was another controversy about the National Guard there protecting the building uh, since the siege. They were unexpectedly kicked outside, forced out in the cold. It didn't go over well with lawmakers. No, it, it didn't, Cecilia. And just take a look at these images. This one obtained by the Washington Post. You see our National Guardsmen who, as you said, have been defending the United States Capitol, reportedly forced into these parking lots to rest. You can see them there lying on the concrete floor. Lawmakers outraged by this one even delivering them pizza overnight did not take long for the situation to be resolved they are now allowed back here on the capitol ground cecilia well, that is good news okay rachel thanks so much hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the abc news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching